It's time. It's time. It's time. For what? For the Curious Giraffe Show. Sit back and relax. So we'll sing, chat, and laugh on the Curious Giraffe Show. Welcome back, everybody. It is so good to be together and have new friends and old friends. And this is one of the Curious Giraffes. This is Jeanette. Hi, everybody. Hi, Jeanette. I love meeting new friends and asking questions and singing songs. Oh, boy. So we need to do who's who on the Curious Crew to know who's here. Please, please let me do it, please. OK, she can do it today. All right, let's start with the back row. How about, what's your name? I'm Emily. Hi, Hi Emily. Emily. And what's your name? Maeve. Hi, Hi Maeve. Maeve. And what's your name? Hi, Hi, Megan. I'm glad you heard. Let's all say it. Hi, Hi Megan. Megan. And what's your name? Donay. Hi, Hi Donay. Donay. And what's your name? Lauren. Hi, Hi Lauren. Lauren. And what's your name? Aurora. Hi, Hi Aurora. Aurora. And what's your name? I'm Gail. Hi, Hi Gail. Gail. Hi, Jeanette. And what's your name? <laughs> I'm Dorothy. And I am so glad to have you all here. So, the giraffes help me think of new verses every time to the Curious Giraffe song. Today, we're going to sing a verse about, I want to say it, <laughs> okay, Ab about Gail Herman, <laughs> wonderful storyteller. <laughs> all right, so let's sing a song to get to know Gail. Oh, and actually, I need someone else. Donay, will you pass this to Megan because she she's behind you. Megan's going to try it. The other side. There she is. Yes, she was the quiet voice today. So, Megan, you're going to help Jeanette sing. Everybody's going to help with the motions. Here we go. Giraffe looked over at Gail and said, Sometimes I feel good, but sometimes I get the grumps. Gail got her puppets, we can help you with the bumps underneath this one big sky. Oh yeah. Share one big sky, share one big sky. Give the world a big high five. Yeah, we're different and we know it, but we all get along. Cause we can all share and we can all care. We're different, but we all belong. Welcome, Gail. Thank you. Thank you. It's so, so good to be here with all of you. Great. And I brought my puppet with me. Who is that? Well, this is Sylvester. And when I travel around, you like him? Yeah, do you have one like it? No? Well, when I travel around, I bring some of my puppet friends with me in my big backpack that I put on my back. and. Sylvester is always a favorite because he likes, well, he likes to share one of his stories. Um, but sometimes he gets a little shy. And um, will you do it today? Oh, oh, he says he's in one of those shy moods. Uh oh. Well, I. Can you say hello, Sylvester? Hello, Sylvester. <laughs> okay. He says okay. <laughs> I have to help, though. <laughs> okay. Once upon a time, Sylvester the monkey woke up with what we call, yeah, just like that, woke up. Do that again. <gasps> Only when he woke up, his mouth was all strange, and he looked like he was grumpy. Can you show me a grumpy face? <laughs> That's exactly how he felt inside. He was so grumpy, why, he just felt all picky with people, picky with people. And just then, down the path came Shelly the turtle. Now, Shelly was his friend, 
and Shelley was walking nice and slowly down the path. And because Sylvester was up in his treehouse feeling all grumpy and bumpy and grumbly, he just looked down and he said, <laughs> which in monkey talk meant, boy, are you slow. <gasps> oh, you never minded my slowness before, said the turtle. Turtle felt so put down. Turtle just liked to move slow. Most of the time, actually, although sometimes he could go quickly. <coughs> but that made him feel put down. So you know what? He went inside his shell. And he didn't want to come out. Can you show me how somebody feels when they feel put down? Mm, yeah. You can see it in their faces and the way they hold their bodies. And I don't know, but... Sylvester just didn't even notice, and he just got bored because Shelley was in the shell, and he just decided to go back to sleep that day. Good thing, too. Well, I bet he was tired. Ne yeah, he was pretty, pretty. He might have been overtired. He didn't have much sleep. He was grumpy, and but then <coughs> down the path came. Allie Alligator. <laughs> and Allie was singing dum dee dum 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 dee dum 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 dee dum. And Shelly looked down and before Allie could even say hello, Shelly looked out and said, Boy, do you have an ugly nose? never minded my nose before. And Allie scrunched up his nose and it kind of hurt. It didn't feel good when he tried to make his nose smaller. Kind of like a nose job. Well, then Allie Alligator just went and went down and didn't even want to talk to anybody, and that's when Toucan came by. <laughs> and Allie Alligator was down on the ground with his nose all squinched up. And before Toucan could say, Hello, how are you? Let's play. Allie Alligator looked up and said, Boy, do you have an ugly voice. Ah, <gasps> you never minded my voice before. That's just part of me. And Toucan felt so sad, he felt put down. And now you had three animals with a put down and grumps <laughs> and a monkey up in a tree with the grumps all picky with people. So Toucan went up, up into her tree house and that's when Betty Bunny came out from behind a tree and said, I don't want anyone making me feel put down. This is silly. I'm just going to think of something to stop all these put downs and grumpy feelings. And so she thought, and she thought, can you do that? Till, bing! Can you do that? Bing! She came up with an idea. She said, I know. I'll just go give one of them a put up instead of a put down. 
So she went over to the turtle and she said, hey, Shelly, yeah, Shelly, uh, can't we go play? No, go away. And then she gave a put up instead of a put down. She said, oh, Shelly, I like, I like your shell. Can you give me a ride and I'll just bounce on your back and it'll be like a massage. <laughs> <laughs> what? Really? You like my back? Oh, okay, okay, okay. So Betty Bunny got on Shelly's back and they went off down the path. Shelly was sort of slow again, wasn't feeling really fast, like going slow, and Betty Bunny was hopping on Shelly's back and it was kind of like massaging underneath all around. Did you ever have a massage? Feels real good. I give well, to my mom. It, oh really? Uh huh. Well, then they said, "Hey, Betty Bunny said, where's Alley Alligator?" Oh, I don't know. Turtle didn't want to think about Alley Alligator, but Betty Bunny had seen the whole thing. She said, "Let's go and see if we can have a game with Alley." And so she convinced Turtle, and they went over, and they saw Ally Alligator. And they said to Ally, as he had his nose all squinched up, they said, hmm, let's do a put up for Ally Alligator. And they thought, can you show me how they thought? They thought they had real hard thinking. They had to look at all his attributes. Hmm, what are some of his attributes? What does he have? Um, yes? A nice nose. A nice nose? <laughs> what else does he have? What are other attributes? Yes. A nice clean teeth. <laughs> oh, yes, some birds had come by, you know? Sometimes birds peck crocodiles and <coughs> different animals' teeth and they clean them. I, what were you going to say? You have nice colored eyes. <gasps> nice colored eyes. They're white and black. They were looking at all of his attributes. And what color is he? Green. Green. And do you know what kind of skin alligators have? Rough. Pardon? Rough. Rough. Rough skin. And that's what gave Betty Bunny an idea. She said, Allie, I like your nice green slimy hide. Do you know it would be good for sliding? <laughs> oh, <laughs> said Hallie. You do? You like my hide? <laughs> oh, yeah. Can I try? Okay. Okay. And so Betty Bunny, these were the days when all the animals were friends. You've got to imagine this. <laughs> and zoom down and up and back and zoom down and up and back and zoom down and they were having a grand old time and before you know it Ally Alligator forgot all about that put down about his nose and he was straightened out and then they thought gee this is fun what else can we do where is that toucan said Betty Bunny. And so they realized Toucan was still up in the tree. Can you just hold him for a minute? Put him on your arm? Toucan was up in the tree and she was all bent out of shape, if you will, because they said her book. Betty looked up and said, hey, Toucan. And Toucan went, ah, ah, because Toucan was feeling pretty sad. And she and Shelly and Allie had to think real hard. They had to think and think and think of a way that they could give Toucan a put up. What do you think they did? Yes, my friend. I like a Dinner. colorful beak. Oh, that's exactly the first thing they thought of. Can you say you're right? You're right. <laughs>
Can you say it? You're right. And when you do it, can you go like this? You're right. You're right. <laughs> That's the first thing they thought of was, oh, I like the color of your beak. And Shelly said she did too, and so did Ali Alligator. And before you know it, Toucan was saying, oh, you do? Why, thank you, because that's how it sounds when you do toucan. Ah, 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 ah. Can you do that? You do? Why, thank you. <laughs> yeah, the long <laughs> U at the end. Ah. So they all began to play and have a good time. And finally, they realized that they had one more. And Betty Bunny was getting really scared. And she said, you know what? It's going to be dark pretty soon. We've got to get our monkey out of the put-downs and the grumps. I think I've got to think of a way that we could wake up every morning, because it's getting dark now. And pretty soon, monkey's going to wake up. And we could start with the grumps again, and we'd never have any fun. So she came up with a song, and I'm going to put the puppets right here for a minute, and I'm going to teach you the song so when morning comes, we can wake up. Okay? We can wake up, Sylvester. So you start like this, and you go, I've got a put up inside of me, and it goes like this. Let's try it again. I've got to put up inside of me, and it goes like this. Once more. I've got to put up inside of me, and it goes like this. So after they all went to sleep, and then they wake, woke up in the morning, and you know what? They didn't want to take a chance that maybe that grumpy Sylvester was still with the grumps and feeling put down. So Betty Bunny said, let's think of some things we could say to our monkey friend over here. Let's think of some things we could say to our monkey over here. So they sang the song again. Let's all do it one more time. Here we go. I've got to put up inside of me, and it goes like this. And someone had a good idea because they were watching all the different characteristics and attributes of Monkey Sylvester. They looked at what he had and how he, his body was, and they looked at his colors, and they looked at his his long arms and legs, and they thought about what he could do. They had a million put-ups to give to that monkey. What do you think one of them was? Yes, my friend Maeve. I like the necklace. <gasps> You're right. That's the first thing that Ali Alec, could you hold Ali up? That's the first thing that Ali Alligator thought of. Let's tell or she's right, but say, you're, you're right. right. And then after they did it, they noticed that Sylvester's eyes kind of straightened up a little bit. <laughs> and then Betty Bunny said, we better do more. So they did. I've got to put up inside of me and it goes like this. What else do you think they said to that grumpy monkey? Because he still had some things going on inside. Yes, Miss Emily. Like their long legs. <gasps> Did you know that was the second thing they thought of? <gasps> Tell her, you're, you're right. right. And then when they did that, I forgot to show you, they noticed that his arms and legs seemed much more um, relaxed. He wasn't so grumpy anymore. And, but they noticed this isn't enough. He was really in a, I've got to put up inside of me and it goes like this. So they had to think of one more. Danae, what do you think they thought of? I like your, I like your white thing on your, 
Oh, your white chinny chin chin. All those hairs on there? How did you know? That was the third thing they thought of. No. That was the third thing. You're, You're right. right. Can we quickly and hear so, the other two put ups? Yes. What were the other two put ups? Oh, that all all of this the part or the this part? That. This part? Mm. This part. Oh, all that nice reddish brown color. And you know what he said after each one? What? You do? Why, thank you. Mm -hmm. Only he said it in monkey talk. <laughs> you know, he said, <laughs> but we'll say it in our talk, okay? Let's say, you oh, do? do? Why, wow, thank you. you. <laughs> and our last one, that you, did you have a put up for him? I like the way you are. You like the way he walks. He, uh, no, you are. Oh, you, you are. are. And what exactly about him is he that you like? Do you I like, like his? All, of all right, you like all of him. You like his ears. You like his arms. You like his legs. Good, I great. I thought I saw Megan's hand for a minute. Can we? Oh, just did check? you, Megan? What were you going to say um, for Grumpy Monkey Sylvester? I, I like that. Um, he appreciated um, the. The compliments that they were giving to him. Oh, and he did say, "Why, well, thank you," didn't he? That was a very polite way to take a compliment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. and so that was the last one he did. He said, oh, "You do? Why, thank, thank you. you!" And that's the story of how to dump the grumps. Dump the grumps. You tell something true about the person. Okay. Can can we practice one thing yes. that you reminded me? Yes. When sometimes I like that part when you had us point our heads and try to think of something a uh, put up. So what I like to do is put our hand on a heart and you gather up what your heart would like to say and then you give you give a put up. So let's try that. Your heart give a put up. Thank you all, because giraffes like to look up. <laughs> that's right. That's right. part of that. that so whole you had thing. another because idea. The yummy and also Say that again. Because of the yummy leaves. The yummy leaves, and yes, because giraffes look up to eat the yummy leaves. Oh, that's, that's right. Good point. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So as long as it's true and you really feel it, mm -hmm. that's the one of the best ways. <laughs> okay, so I will hold the puppets for you. And then we're going to um, um, just say that sometimes storytellers also ha have instruments that they think about background. Did you notice how um, Dorothy did a little bit of walking when the turtle was walking so slowly? Yes, that's, that's a sound effect that helps the atmosphere of that particular little scene that you were seeing in your head. Well, storytellers... And I, I'd like to let you know, I have not done that before. And <laughs> Gail challenged me to think of musical things to do with my guitar that would go with these stories. So right. thank you for that challenge. You're that's welcome. And so storytellers, mainly uh, myself I'm speaking of, not all storytellers, like to have a, something in the background or in between to make it more um, interesting when you're thinking of the pictures. In this story, where could we put the sound of the vibratone? This is a vibratone. Isn't that fun? What do you think? Where could we, yes, Megan? When he wakes up and he has the grumps, cause he's like, and, okay. and it's like, and it makes that noise, it okay. like, seems like he's... So dead. you think when the story begins and he wakes up and, and, and the storyteller, or I would say, and he woke up with the grumps. Boy, was he grumpy. So then I could go, or someone could go, 
and I could move his mouth to go with that? Is that what you were thinking? That's a great. I, was thinking, I think that's a great. I guess she is. Could do it when, he, when his anger is relieving. When he what? Like when one thing changes or relaxes. <gasps> When, when his anger is relieved, relieved or relaxed. at the end, when he's relaxed and he's getting... Oh. That's an interest. See, there is no right or wrong. It's your musical intelligence that your creativity, you're putting it into the story where you think it should go. Okay. And that's what I love to do with musical instruments. And I think um, I just would have one more to s show you. This is a temple block. Where would you put this? Danae? With the turtle walking. All right, it could go with the turtle walking. Thank you for the suggestion, yes. Or the alligator walking. Or the alligator walking, sure. And, it could, and so you could, if you retell this story that I made, by the way, it's on, it's, um, it's in a, a, a she little has book. a storybook. And Gail it's in made a up CD. the story, so you can either get the book or yeah. those CD. So if you retell it at school, and you, they have tempo blocks in the music room, you could easily find some of these instruments in your music. Maybe not exactly like it. <laughs> right. Some yeah. of those are pretty new. So me. yeah, they are. They're very new. Okay. Well, like this I one. Where would you put that one? Um, Think about it, because we have to end our show. Maybe like, a couple of oh, thank you part. Thank you yeah. part, because it's quick. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I know how to play it. OK, after we finish, we'll play the instruments, right? OK. What um, is that? Yeah, Gail. Oh, well, this is a thumb piano. And these are from, originally from Africa. The frets are nails pounded down in the old days. They used to make them from actual nails pounded down and on a piece of wood. And then there's a gourd under here. Um, the gourd isn't, um, I can't take it with me for traveling, but you just use your thumbs to play it, so it's like that. So, so these are Gail, fun to play. Um, I think that we'd like to invite you another time and that the children could have much more time to actually you play like your that? instruments. Would you like to be the sound effect people? And we can create For the story? together. A oh, new that would be okay. great. So why don't we do that? Because now it is time for us to close the show. So I'll ask everyone to stand up tall like the giraffes. Can you open the mystery box? Oh, 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 the mystery box. Um, Okay, I have to be super quick. I was going to have you, today, Gail starts with G, and the Grump starts with G, and I had a guessing game. <laughs> Both those words start with G. I was going to have you guess what was in my box, if we had time. I brought a golden goose. I those both G. start with G, too. So the golden goose can sing with us. You can hold up one of your puppets to sing with us. This is our closing song. So everybody line up, Donate, come on over here with me. You all okay? And Gail, you stand up behind them and, sure. and your monkey Let's can sing the song with us. Here we go. And Maeve, you haven't heard this before, but you can learn it from us. We'll sing it twice. Keep singing, keep looking up, keep asking questions and never give up. Keep singing, keep looking up, keep asking questions and never give up. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.